After a year in which oil prices dominated the news, you might think the same issues will drive next year's energy stories. But if you just focus on oil prices, you'll miss the larger picture for 2016. We rely on oil, of course, for transportation and petrochemicals, but it's not the only game in town anymore. As our reliance on oil shrinks, we'll turn not to just one new source of energy, but several. This is different than what's happened in the past. Previously, one form of energy was superseded by another. In the 19th century, our reliance on wood gave way to coal, and in the 20th century, that yielded to oil. But in the 21st century, the next step won't be an orderly progression from one fuel to the next. It'll be a free-for-all. So, which source stands the best shot? Let's get the easy answer out of the way first. It isn't going to be coal. Although Japan and China will add coal plants this year, coal's share of U.S. electricity production has gone down 17% since 2005. Coal is just too dirty in the face of climate change. Nuclear energy isn't doing so hot these days either. Since Fukushima, several aging U.S. plants have been closed, and Germany, Japan, Taiwan, and other countries are planning to phase out nuclear energy altogether. From there, though, the energy picture gets a lot sunnier. Natural gas is the big success story of the past few years, pouring out of U.S. fracking projects and undercutting coal as a cheap source of electricity. Wind power is as cheap as coal in Germany and the UK, and demand for solar is actually the highest it's ever been, which may have something to do with the price of solar panels dropping 95% since 2008. In spite of all this upheaval, oil is still king. It's our single largest power source, and that's not going to change in 2016. Between high U.S. output, Iran probably resuming its exports, and Saudi Arabia lowballing to maintain market share, oil prices are likely to stay low for a while, which means less incentive to find an alternative. But there's a funny thing about oil you may not have noticed. It doesn't really compete with the others directly. Oil mostly powers cars, ships, and planes, while the others mostly generate electricity. The wild card for oil in 2016 and beyond is how fast cars might start to run on electricity instead of gasoline or diesel. If and when we see a big shift, it may signal the true end of the oil age, but it won't be replaced by the solar age or the biofuel age or the wind age. It'll be replaced by all of them.